Well, good afternoon, Rolling Hills Baptist Church, and whoever else may be out there watching from wherever you are. We're so glad that you're here. This is Encouragement Thursday, and I have good friends of mine, brothers and sisters in the faith, Kurt and Linda, here with us today, and I know they're just so excited to be here with us today, and they are going to, uh, we wanted to do kind of an interview because at Rolling Hills Baptist Church, we are, are fixing to have an opportunity of a lifetime coming very shortly to go and share the gospel in to the uttermost in Jamaica, and actually Acts 1 8, you know, Jesus says this, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and into the uttermost parts of the earth. And so this summer we're going to the uttermost for us, and that is to Jamaica for the purpose of sharing the gospel. And a lot of times I think we probably people may have questions like, you know, how do you know if this is what God wants you to do? What are you what are you expecting God to do while you're there? And so we wanted to get some expert panel guests here to give us all the answers that we've been so diligently searching for. Um, so we got Kurt and Linda here. So the first question I just wanted to ask you all was, how did you know that God wanted you to go to Jamaica this summer? I think when we started talking about making this trip, one of the things um, I know from, I pray through for countries through the year and through the month, um, is that there is actually a high percentage of Christians in many of the African countries. But then when we started talking about it, we heard that though they are registered Christians, however you do that, but that a lot of them have a lot of res reservations about the gospel and are not um, as... Um, informed as, as some of our churches are here or other churches in their own country. So it just seemed like a good way, and especially since we'll be working with children, we're going to reach the people uh, early on, we hope, with a yeah. vacation Bible school program. Yeah, absolutely. I just thought about the time we went to Panama and um, how eye-opening and... Um, comforting I guess it was to go we went we went to areas that um, regular people wouldn't go to yeah. um, you know drug addict area a prostitute area and um, so not that, not that that's what God's calling me to go to in Jamaica but <laughs> yeah. but I just um, it just felt like you know it was it was time to go again and uh, look for new opportunities to share with other people Oh, amen. Yeah, and that's, you know, kind of they alluded to the, what, what our mission is going to be there. And, and that is we're a, a variety of things, but primarily we're focusing on VBSs in different locations. And so we're going we're gonna to be sharing the gospel with hopefully a lot of kids. And then uh, a lot of us are going to be challenged to teach maybe even adults as well. And so, uh, and, and we'll be in different locations. So it's really cool. So we'll be able to spread out and, and share that. And like Kurt said, maybe some areas that a lot of people wouldn't go. And I know a mission trip on the past I found that to be the case too that uh, we may go on like a just an enjoyment trip at the end of it and you realize that those are the places that uh, most tourists go but a lot of the time we've been uh, in country was not spent in a touristy spot uh, and so let me just ask you a question about expectations so a lot of times it, and you all probably hear it as well when we're getting ready to get geared up for something anything ministry we're saying hey will you pray with us will you if you can't give or if you can't go then hey pray and it makes you a part of it and, it and it definitely does so as you all have been thinking about this trip coming up how has God directed your prayers what are you all praying for specifically and expecting God to do during our time there I I have I have tried to pray for me personally not to have any expectations Okay. I know God, the expectations will come from God, but I'm not trying to go with any preconceived notions about okay. what I'm going to be able to do or um, how things may turn out. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's because God, you know, God, God's way is going to be better anyway. And sometimes if we do set, set it up too high and then it's not like what we expect, then maybe um, we feel like it's a letdown or something like that. But if we just go thinking, you know, God, I'm going to trust you with whatever your will is. Maybe that is, that's a, that's an interesting thought. I appreciate that. What about you? 
I think there's several things. Obviously, I want us to be safe, and I'm hoping that we can reach a lot of children. But an interesting thing on this trip is we have quite a few beginners that have yeah. not been on mission trips before. And I'm excited to see how this affects them. We have some young people, some teens going. And I'm hoping that this will be an influence for them for their whole lives because people think, well, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't help other people. I can't. So I, I think it will be eye-opening for them, and, and I'm excited to see how those things go, and all of it, really. Yeah, amen, and, and that's, that's very true. Like, we, <laughs> we have such a good, you know, range of, you know, first-timers, those that have went before, uh, different ages. I mean, there's, there's so many people that are, are going. We're blessed with a team of 17, um, so what a great group that is. And, you know, just like Acts 1-8 says, you know, in reality, when we leave, we hope that, that we'll be found by Jesus to have been witnesses be witnesses to me and and one thing that we want to leave them with that whatever that looks like and it can look different in so many different contexts is, is that we leave them with Jesus and a good representation of of who he is of how he loved and in what redemption we find at his feet and so I appreciate that and, and we encourage you all to, to pray for us as well for these things to pray for us that God would help us to know um, what direction he wants us to go and maybe if our expectations are off that we kick them and we say we kick them to the curb and we say lord we just want what you want and we're, we're willing to do whatever that takes because his will and his way is the best okay so do you all have anything else that you want to share with folks before we we kind of close out for this session no i guess to sum you up it's just you got to roll with the punches <laughs> <laughs> that is a good summation yeah roll flexibility is key and we know That's we're right. all about right. flexibility i know I, I the same thing flexibility um, I'm supposed to help well, do most of the cooking, and we keep hearing new things about, well, sure, you can shop while you're there. There's a store three miles away. Oh, we don't have transportation. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm going to have to get one of those granny carts to pull the groceries in. So it, it's all going to be new and challenging, and we have to be flexible. So um, it, it's going to be really interesting. But I'm interested to see the kids, too, and oh, see yeah. how they do. I think they'll be different from the kids here, probably in some ways so. I, think, I think there'll be a lot to learn for yeah. sure a lot of learning that takes place yeah. and, and Linda is an expert cook y'all heard that right where you are so if you need cooking done <laughs> for any ministry we're right here right uh -huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you all so much for being on and You're for welcome. sharing thank you for going uh being being obedient to god's call to go when he leads you that way uh, thank you all for joining in with us today and i hope this has been an encouragement to you uh, and i hope at some point in your life as you as you try to follow jesus maybe there's a time when god says hey i want you to go to the uttermost and and there may be some nerves and things mixed in but to, for us to step out in faith and just trust that he's going to lead the way he's going to take care of everything Thing. It's just an awesome place to be. Uh, so we definitely desire your prayers. We appreciate your prayers. Thankful for folks that are willing to go. And uh, we hope that we can just represent Christ in such a great way there that that's what they remember in all that we do, that we are witnesses for him and we want him, his name to be known. Uh, so it's been great to be with you today. I hope you have. We hope you have a great rest of the week. And we look forward to being with you in worship on Sunday.